All right, BFit Live, BFit Nation, welcome back to a new Workout Wednesday this week. All right, joining you this Wednesday for a special edition of our BFit Live programmed workout. So if you're new to the program, welcome in, join us, get settled in. We are all about a resistance training workout for today. So if you're new, once again, drop us a note in the comments below. Let us know where you're joining us from. Let us know where you're watching from. I have you up on my screen as well. So leave me a comment. Let me know what modifications you would like to see for today, what type of movements that you would enjoy for today. Uh, again, where you're watching from, where you're joining from, and this would be a great time to share with your friends, with your family, with your spouse, with your coworkers on keeping each other accountable for today's BFIT Live workouts. All right, team. Um, so as we get settled in, uh, again, resistance training workout for today. So if you have any dumbbells, if you have any kettlebells, if you have anything to add resistance to add to your movements, go ahead and grab those now. Find that workout space. You do not need much. As you can see behind me, I work out in just around a six to seven foot uh, seven by seven workout space. So not much needed for today. We're pretty stationary, pretty isolated here. Uh, but wherever you may be, whether you're outside enjoying the weather, whether you're indoors, at home, uh, creating that nice workout environment for us today, the only thing I ask is to give me, to give our program workout your max effort that you have for today. All right, team. So <clears throat> as we get settled in, I'm going to go through demos. I'm going to go through the uh, movements that we have programmed for you today. So it's all about some upper body movements as well as some lower body activation movement movements to get you through, as well as some core work to uh, keeping our core nice and tight, nice and engaged uh, throughout all four movements for today. All right, team. Our timing for today is gonna be 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest, four movements, four rounds with one minute rest in between each of those rounds. All right, team. Once again, 40 of work, 20 of rest, four rounds, and one minute rest in between each of those rounds. <clears throat> All right, um, we will get started with some dynamic stretching to get our bodies ready to work, prepared to work, and then we will move on to our workout, which is just under 20 minutes of work uh, to kind of cash us out on today's workout. All right, team, so let's get started here. Let's get started, all right? Join me, join me, join me here. Let's stand up nice and tall. We're gonna work through some dynamic stretching before we get started. Actually, before we do that though, let me go through the movements for today, all right? I have some dumbbells that I'm gonna be working with today. So let's start off with movement number one, all right? We have a dumbbell row, all right? That 40 seconds of work, we're gonna work on our left side, all right? We're gonna progress uh, through these four rounds. So on that first two rounds, we're actually going to grab that one single dumbbell and we're going to take that staggered stance, all right? So opening up those hips, okay, taking that, uh, right hand, let's put it on our knee for support. We're gonna take that left hand, we're gonna grab that dumbbell, all right? Making sure that our, sh our hips are shoulder width apart and you have that nice flat back and that head in that neutral position as you lean forward and you're going to bring up that dumbbell, right? Really squeezing that shoulder blade uh, at the top of the movement, right? Feeling that activation in your lat <clears throat> as your elbow gets tucked in close to your torso right here, all right? Extend right back down and then right back up, squeezing that lat, squeezing that shoulder blade at that top of the movement here, right? Nice controlled movements here for us today. As we are working with weight, we always wanna control the movements, control your form, all right? Making sure that all of our points down our kinetic chain are in alignment here. So <clears throat> movement number one is gonna be our left side, our left arm, all right? Movement number two will be our right side, same stance, same great form. Hips are gonna be square to the front, to the floor. Opposite hand, so your left hand is gonna be on that left knee and we are going to extend up with that right arm, that right elbow coming close towards our torso, all right? Really squeezing at that top of the position once again and making sure that our head is in alignment right here. You can see that spinal alignment there from your head down to your neck, down to your tailbone. That's what you wanna see right there. That's what you wanna feel, all right? That's movement number two. <clears throat> and we're gonna scale that up as we go through our workout for today. All right, movement number three is going to be a squat into a shoulder press. Okay, so a little two for one, a little bang for our buck here <clears throat> with our squat to press. We do not have any weights. Let's go ahead and make that nice strong fist. The same with that dumbbell row. We just want to really squeeze 
at that top position for, for movement number one and two. Movement number three, squat to press, either those nice strong fists, or if you have dumbbells, let's go ahead and set ourselves up here. <clears throat> Excuse me here. All right, grab those dumbbells, front rack position right here. <clears throat> We're gonna go down into our squat, all about comfort here, wherever your lowest position of your squat is, that's where I want you to <clears throat> stop at. That's where I want you to live at, at that lower portion of that squat. So front rack position on your dumbbells here. All right, try not to rest them on your shoulders. You'll notice you have your bicep activation right there. That's a nice little isometric hold. Your biceps are working and activating on holding those dumbbells up. From here, you're gonna go down into your squat, all right? Feet shoulder width apart, sit back at those hips. Knees tracking over our toes and our chest is up. From there, we're gonna drive up and extend up. Palms facing each other here at that top position. Control those dumbbells on the way down. Again, into a squat and then into a press. Squat into your overhead press. With your press, again, palms are gonna be facing each other and elbows are gonna be stacked just underneath those wrists. That's gonna be the most support there. A little two for one here. So lower body, upper body with that squat to press movement. <clears throat> That's going to be movement number three. All right, team. And movement number four, last and final movement here to catch us out for our core is going to be core work here. So we have four shoulder taps and four toe taps. So we're going to get down into our high plank position here. All right. <clears throat> Remember, our hands are going to be stacked underneath our shoulders. So wrist, shoulders, and uh, wrist, elbows, and shoulders are in alignment right here. High plank position. All right, nice flat back. Hips are square to the floor from here, opposite hand to opposite toe. Four of these, all right? So right hand to the left toe. So you're gonna come up into that high pike position, reach for that opposite toe, and then come back into your high plank position. Left hand, right toe. We have four of these, all right? Aim for your toe. If we cannot reach our toe today, let's aim for our shin. If we cannot reach our shin today, let's aim for our knee. All right, team. So four of those toe taps, compose yourself right here, set yourself up, and then we have four shoulder taps. So we're gonna reach for our shoulders. So right hand, left shoulder, left hand, right shoulder. Most important part here, keeping that back flat and keeping those hips square to the floor as we rotate up and uh, touch our shoulders, right hand, left shoulder, left hand, right shoulder. All right, team. Those are gonna be the four movements for today. As we get settled in once again, all right, Mark, I appreciate you. Um, let's jump into some dynamic stretches. That way we can get ready to go, get warmed up and prepared to work. All right, team. So let's start off with a nice little shallow squat for today. So just nice and shallow squat. Each of these dynamic movements will be about 30 seconds each. So nice little shallow squat here. So probably a little bit of a quarter squat here, but what we're doing is we're gonna get our knees our quads, our glutes warmed up, activated, and sending a signal down to each of these muscle groups that we are about to work here. So nice little shallow squat here, nothing too deep. Keeping that chest up, sending those hips back, all of those good cues that we like to see and feel and hear throughout our lower body movements. We're just looking to send this into a nice little dynamic warm up here. All right. Last four here, add in three, two, one. All right, team, let's go into a dynamic quad stretch, all right? Really looking at activating that quad and our hip flexor as we pull that right leg back towards our glutes. That left arm is gonna go straight up, pushing those hips forward once again, alternate left leg and right leg. Nice deep breaths in as well. Get our breathing under control. Breathing helps out so much when we're in resistance training as well. So I'll be mindful to cue up our breathing as well through these movements. That way we know exactly when and where to breathe. Inhale to exhale. It matters, it matters. All right, good, last two. Last one, good. Let's come to the top of our workout space here. We're gonna go into a reverse lunge with an overhead reach. So top of the workout space here, my right leg is gonna go back into that reverse lunge and my right arm is gonna go over on my left side. Feeling that stretch in our lats with that reach. You can feel our hips 
opening up good speed up that tempo once again or sit in that reverse lunge for a little bit longer if we need to really feel that those hips opening up hip flexors if they're nice and tight this is a great time to really focus on any area that you might be tight in here team good last two here <clears throat> good last one team all right a little bit of an inner work here, inner thigh work. So nice wide stance here. Our feet are gonna be fixed forward from here. We're gonna shift our weight over to the left and then to the right. You can feel that stretch in your inner thigh right here. Good, go ahead and shift that weight over. Find that tempo. Good, really sit in. If you need to sit into this movement a little bit longer than myself. Good, come back up, reset, feel it out and shift. Good, that's gonna be your lateral lunge. All right, that's gonna be your lateral lunge. All right, team, a little bit of upper body movement here. Since we do have some upper body movements here, let's go into some nice wide single arm, right arm circles. All right, so nice big circles here, <clears throat> really warming up our shoulders. All right, not breathing. Here we go. Two, one, we'll go in reverse right now. Good. 10, nine. There we go, team. Out in three, two, one. Here we go. Left arm forward. Second to the last dynamic warm up here. Hope everyone had a great start to their week once again. I know it's Wednesday, it's a little bit of a midweek push here. Let's go in reverse. <clears throat> so it's nice to get back on track. Nice big circles here. Always set yourself up here with the foot placement. Out in two, one, good. Last and final movement here, we have YTWs, okay? So we're gonna go into big Ys, big Ts, and big Ws. From our center point right here, again, feet shoulder width apart, nice strong stance. Make sure that we always set ourselves up with a good solid foundation throughout our full movements here. They get big Y up into that Y, that those thumbs are gonna be facing the back of the room here, back to center, big T. Once again, thumbs facing the back of your area. Squeezing those shoulder blades together, big W here. Good, really feeling that stretch. Big Y, once again, shoulders, shoulder blades, traps, big T. Nice deep breaths for me, big W. Good, last round here, big Y. Really reaching a little taller, a little wider, big T, big W, show off those biceps. There you go, team. All right, get settled in, grab that towel, grab that water. Let me refresh my page here, and then we will get ready to work. Once again, I'll start the timer here. Again, if we're new, join us. Welcome us, welcome us, welcome us. All right, 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest. Four rounds, one minute rest in between each of those rounds, team. All right, let's get going here, all right? <clears throat> we're working on our left arm here in 10 seconds. Grab that dumbbell. We have a dumbbell row coming up. All right, four. Three, right forward is forward, left leg is back. Here we go, 40 seconds of work, hinging at those hips, pushing that hip back. That right arm is placed just above the knee. <clears throat> Again, hips are square to the floor, feet are shoulder width apart. Nice flat back, facing the floor here, squeezing at the top, right? Good, nice controlled movements here. Out in 15 seconds, we are halfway there, less than that, out of 10. Whew. This is a great cue for five seconds here. Whew. Exhale as you pull up, Whew. inhale as you go down. Two, one, and time. Good job, team. 20 seconds of rest here. We're gonna reset, switch arms. So grab that weight, push it to our right hand. Left leg is up. 10 seconds here, pick up that weight, reset. <clears throat> leg, shoulder width apart. All right, let's go team. In two, one, my left arm is down, my right arm is down. I am pulling up with that right arm. Good, really squeezing at the top here. Really feeling that lat, 
Feeling that shoulder blade come back. Really think about that breathing as well, team. 20 seconds here. <clears throat> Find a tempo once again that's comfortable for you. Sit back in those hips. Nice flat back. We should be looking a few feet, about three feet in front of us here. Six, out in five. It's two more reps. Three, two, one, and time. Good job. All right, grab that second dumbbell because we have a squat to press coming up. Find that dumbbell or make that nice strong fist. Two dumbbells here. Five seconds here into that squat, into that overhead press. Coming up into one. Set ourselves up, feet shoulder width apart. Soft bend at those knees. Push those hips back and down. Drive up through those heels. Palms facing the, each other through the duration of this movement here. Control that weight coming down. Good. Be mindful of our knee placement when we drop back and down and drive right back up into that overhead press. Good job team. 13 more seconds here. Out an eight. Nice cue to exhale as you drive up to one and time. Good job. That is your third movement there. Way to finish it, way to finish it. We are on deck here because we have four shoulder taps and four toe touches. All right, team, coming up in 10 seconds. Find that breath. Find that breath cadence. Five seconds. We are on the high plank here in two, one. Here we go, team, stack those hands underneath our shoulders. We're gonna reach for that toe, left hand, right toe. Right hand, left toe. Four reps here out of that reset. And then we have shoulder taps, four. We need to modify. Let's drop to our knees here. Keep that nice tight core. Continue to work. Take our time with this one. Good. Out in 10 seconds, team. Reset. Keep that core nice and tight. Keep our hips square to floor. Out in three, two, one, and time. Good job, good job. If that ever becomes too much for us, if it's the toe taps, if it's the shoulder taps, all right, let's keep into that high plank position, right? For that movement number four, you will hold that high plank position for me, okay? We need to drop to the knees. Let's drop to the knees, but continue to hold. Whatever we feel comfortable with doing today, that's where we're gonna be at, but we will work on progressing throughout our, our programmed workouts. Sorry, team, 20, actually 30 seconds of rest here before we jump back in, into that dumbbell row. All right, team, grab that water, grab that towel. How's everybody doing? How's everybody feeling, huh? <laughs> All right, we're looking good, team. 15 seconds here. We have that left dumbbell row, so let's get set up here. Good, we are up in five. My right leg is forward, my left leg is back. My left hand is on the dumbbell here, supporting with my right hand, hips square to the floor, flat back. Head is in that neutral position. Good, feet shoulder width apart once again, really feeling that squeeze. Elbow comes up close to our torso. Good, be mindful of where our arm placement is as well. When we drive up, we wanna make that nice 90 degree bend with our arm. Good, all the way down, full range of motion. Drop that weight all the way down, let it control all the way down and really drive it up. Good, five seconds here. Out in three, two, one. Good, good, good. 20 seconds of rest here. We're gonna go into that right arm. Let's go ahead and set ourselves up here. How are we doing, BFit Nation? Let's go, let's go. Let me know where are you joining us from? Where are you watching from? How has our week started? How about that? Let me know. Five seconds here. <laughs> All right, two, one. Here we go, team. Movement number two. <sighs> nice deep breath on the way down. And then exhale as you pull that weight up towards your torso. 20 seconds here, team. Good job. Good work. Stay with me. Really focusing on our back here for today with movement number one and two. 
giving ourselves that full 40 seconds of work instead of splitting that time in half. Add in five, three, two, one. Good job, team, good job. Now we may need to go a little bit lighter on our weight since we're working that full 40 seconds. So be mindful of where we're at there. 10 seconds here, we have that squat to overhead press. <clears throat> Grab those two dumbbells here. If not, we're making those nice strong fists. Front rack position here, 40 seconds on the clock. We're dropping down. Good. Right back up. Good, really pushing those hips back. Again, feet and shoulder width apart here. Drive up, push those hips back, good. Keep that chest up. Two for one here with some shoulder work. <clears throat> 15 seconds, team. Exhaling as you drive up, out in 10. <clears throat> Last five, team. <laughs> Here we go. Out in three, two, one. Last rep. Good job. Good work. Good work. Woo. How are we feeling after that one? <laughs> All right. Shoulder taps and toe taps coming up for reps on each of those. High plank position coming up. Shoulder taps, toe taps. Two. One, four reps, starting off with my toe taps here. Resetting into that high plank position. Remember to keep your hands stacked underneath your shoulders. There you go, good. Four shoulder taps. If your tempo is faster than mine, it's perfectly fine. <laughs> 18 seconds here, good. There we go. A nice strong core can help prevent a lot of injury. And this is how we do it. Drop to our knees, hold in that low plank, modified plank and time if we need to, if we need to. Good job. Good job team, good job. All right, remember we have that 60 seconds of less now, 60 seconds of rest. So find that water, keep hydrated. Let's get that breathing under control. We are halfway through our workout team. All right, two rounds down, two more to go. All right, find that weight. This time we are gonna scale up our movement here. We are gonna progress a little bit more. So find that weight that's comfortable for us. What we're gonna do this time, we're gonna work on a little bit of progression here. Two options, we can either stay in that dumbbell row or we can pivot and balance off of one foot. 10 seconds here, left leg is down, right leg is up, find that balance. And we're gonna continue to row right here, palm facing out. Join me here, left arm here, out in two, one. Remember, I have two options for you here. Pivot off of one leg, my right leg is down, my left arm is up. Good, my left leg is straight out, but a few inches off the floor. That right hand, if you're with me, is extended out for counterbalance. Good, nice, flat back once again. My head is in that neutral position. 20 seconds here, find that balance, find that breathing. Continue to row here, palm facing out once again. If you're in option one, keep rowing. That arm supported on your knee. Add in three, two, one. Good job, we're gonna switch to that right side. What's cool about this movement is that we, we are forcing our bodies to balance and stabilize. So we're engaging our core just a little bit more, engaging, engaging our glutes, our quads, our hamstrings, just to find that balance. Six seconds here. My left leg is down, my right leg is extended up. Few inches, my palm is facing the front of the room. Left arm is out if I'm in this option, in this progression here. Good, right arm is working here, lat is activated. Good, find that balance once again. Try not to cross that foot over your center body line. 20 seconds here. If you're in option one, you're in that right dumbbell row. Remember to keep those hips square to the floor. Same as this option right here. Ooh, we are on fire. Last three here, two, one, and time. Good job. Good job, prepare for those squat presses here. Squat to overhead press coming up. 
Good work, good work. Now that our glutes are activated <laughs> with that modification, with that progression here. Five seconds here, team. Front rack position. We are up in two, one. Here we go. Down into our squat. Again, all about comfort level here, but be mindful of keeping that chest up, right? Going down to your comfort level and then really engage in our quads, our glutes to drive us back up into that standing position. <clears throat> Good, we always wanna move with a purpose here, team. Not just going through the motions. Out in five seconds here. Drive up, out in three, two, one, and time. All right, team. Good job, BFit Nation. Here we go. Shoulder taps and toe taps coming up for movement number four, third round. Here we go. Set ourselves in here. We are up in five seconds. Find that space. Find that high plank. Here we go. Two, one, and we are on. Four toe taps and four shoulder taps. Good. We need to hold that high plank position. Let's hold that high plank position. All right, team, if we're here today, we are here today. If we're here off of our elbows in that low plank position, that's where we're at today. Good. Add in 13, reset. Keep those hands stacked underneath our shoulders. Hips square to the floor here. Add in three, two, one, and time. Oh, yeah. All right. All right, BFit Nation, I see you. Good job. Good job. 50 seconds of rest here. Again, grab that water, hydrate, find that hydration point. Whew. Let's get our breathing back under control. Which one's your favorite so far, team? You need any modifications? Do we need to scale up any of these movements? You wanna look for some progressions in these movements? Let me know. A great progression, by the way, is to always slow down your cadence, slow down your tempo in each of these resistance movements. It could be body weight. It could be resistance movement for today, but think about lowering that weight in three seconds. One, two, three. That's really gonna force you to work on a little bit of time under tension here. Let's get ready team, seven seconds here. Left arm is working, right leg is down. If you're with me, two, one, continue. You have two options here. You have a dumbbell row or you have a dumbbell row off of a single leg balance. Good, really forcing us to stabilize here. Our lead leg that's down is really activated. You can feel that glute firing forcing us to stabilize hips again square to the floor what i mean is they want to be facing the floor here do not open up those hips as you're working find that balance if we need to lower that weight just a little bit to get those hips square let's do it out in three two one and time rest reset find that balance once again last and final round here let's make it our best round my left leg is down. My right hand has the weight here. So we're going to be working on that mid to upper back and our lats coming up in five. <sighs> Breathing under control. Left leg is down. Right leg is up a few inches off the floor. And we're rowing. <sighs> Good. My right arm is out. Again, hip square to the floor. Back is flat. <sighs> Good. Good. There we go, team. Out in 20 seconds. How are we doing? Stay with me. Again, if you're in that movement number one, that first option, keep rowing. Out in seven seconds, team. Good. Last five. Push through. Last time you'll see this one. Two, one, and rest. Recover. Recover, recover. Squat presses coming up next. All right, team. All right. 10 seconds. Things are warming up now in the final set here. All right, front rack position here. We're up in three, two, feet shoulder width apart, soft bend at those knees, dropping down. Nice extension, full extension all the way up. Control that movement. 
as you go down. Remember that tempo I was talking about? Slow it down. You'll find that it's a little bit more challenging for you. Good. Halfway there. Nice controlled movements here with our weight. You can really feel our full body activated. Little mind and muscle connection here as we slow down our tempo. Last five. Give me one more rep. And time, recover here, recover. Good job team, good job. Put down those dumbbells because you won't see them again today. All right, high plank position, shoulder taps, toe taps, 10 seconds. 40 seconds of work, your last 40 seconds of work for today. Up in five, two, one, high plank. Here we go, four toe taps, four shoulder taps. Let's go team, hold that plank, hold that modification. Speed up the tempo just a little bit more. Now with this one, a little bit more challenging to speed up that tempo. Again, reach for that toe. If it's not the toe, reach for the shin. If it's not the shin today, reach for the knee. If it's not the knee, let's hold that high plank. Almost there, team, last eight seconds. Push through, out in five. Finish out your set of four, wherever you may be, two, one and time. <laughs> all right, all right. That brings us back down. <sighs> How are we doing, BFit Nation? How are we feeling? How are we feeling? <sighs> As we catch our breath here, grab that water. Think about recovery now. Think about breathing, bringing our breath back under control. If it's a little more stretch, if it's a dynamic stretch, this is a perfect time to kind of freestyle. Really think about cooling your body down in the just under 20 minute workout that we just went through. All right, team. So again, that's a great time to stretch out, to bring our body temp down, bring our breathing back down and under control with a little bit of a cool down session. As we bring ourselves under control here, let me come back to you. Great work today, all right, team. I know resistance training isn't always easy. Matter of fact, it's always a little bit challenging. It's a little bit more challenging. It's also a little bit more, uh, you have to be a little bit more aware of our movements, of our movement patterns, of our tempo, of our form, all right? So I try to be more vocal about where we are in our kinetic chain and how we need to hip hinge or flex or keep our hips square, keep our back flat or our head in alignment with that spine because those are always good key functional points to keep us injury free for injury prevention, but always to work in a correct form to really isolate and target that specific muscle group that we, we may be working for today. So it's not always easy team, but it's always better. It's always perfect. It's always more progression, more progress over time, right? We will get there, whatever our goals may be. Leave us a note in the comments below. Let me know what your goals are, all right? Maybe we can reach them together, all right? If it's run. If it's a jog, it's your, it's your training for your ACFT, if it's training for your physical fitness test, if it's nutrition, let us know in the comments below, all right? The exchange is here for you to help support you with our BFIT program. Just as a reminder, we have more than 1,700 exchange restaurants to help you dial in your nutrition when you're at our exchange stores, right? When you're on base, when you're on post and you're at our exchange stores, we have more than 1,700 restaurants that are available to you to help you make a better for you food selection to keep you on track with your nutrition goals, all right? Just as hard as we work out here in our BFIT program, just as hard as we work out throughout our daily activities, throughout our daily routines, it's also important to recover properly. And that includes nutrition, that includes sleep, that includes our wellness services that we can offer you within our exchange stores, all right, team? Um, also, Sporting apparel, sporting goods, uh, footwear, tra fitness trackers, all right, team? We carry all of those as well within our exchange or shopmyexchange.com. If you're out and about and you see our express stores, make sure to go into our express stores and look for that healthier choice tag, all right? We have more than 400 products that are tagged on the shelf with a healthier choice option for you, all right? So that helps you with that smart snacking option to get you through that nutrition, that breakfast, that lunch, that dinner, with those smart snacking options that you can find at your Express Stores team, all right? And as always, if you're looking for more workout 
regimens, some more workouts, you can find them on our Facebook page here under the Be Fit playlist, under videos, playlist, Be Fit. All right, we have them catalog more than a year full of workouts that are all different from one another. So they can be lower body, they can be upper body, they can be more cardio-based movements, but we have them available for you at our Facebook page, as well as on YouTube. So head over to Shop My Exchange on our YouTube page and look under that Be Fit uh, video playlist. And you can find all of these playlists as well on our YouTube page. So go like that button, go subscribe and head over to our YouTube page and you'll find all of these videos as well, team. All right, well, I hope everyone had a great workout once again. Always a pleasure here, team. Again, Be Fit Nation, if it doesn't challenge us, it doesn't change us. So let's continue to push forward week after week. We are doing so great. I love how everyone shares all of their positive encouragements with one another, all right, as well as where they're joining us from. It's always great to see a large community of our exchange, Be Fit family across the world here, but we're helping to support one another, leading a fit and active lifestyle, all right, team? Be ready, be resilient, and let's stay fit, team, all right? Be Fit Ambassador Roy Montes signing off, team. Bye.